Let's talk about lobotomies. Rosemary Kennedy was only 23 years old when her dad ordered her to be lobotomized without her mother's consent. Rosemary Kennedy was the sister of President John F. Kennedy. As she developed as a teenager, she reportedly had emotional outbursts and her father Joe was worried she was gonna become promiscuous and ruin their family's political career. So he decided to take matters into his own hands. So let's talk about what is a lobotomy. As a neurosurgeon, let me explain what a lobotomy is and why it was performed in the 1940s and the 1950s. The prefrontal cortex is in our brain right here and is responsible for executive functioning. It includes cognitive behavior and personality expression, decision-making, and social behavior. In the 1930s and the 1940s, we really didn't understand medically how to treat mental health issues. So some neurosurgeons developed a procedure called a lobotomy. Remember, there was no psych meds at that time period. Now, the actual surgical procedure changed over the years. Initially, what surgeons did is they drilled two burr holes right over the prefrontal cortex and dropped an instrument, kind of like a butter knife or an ice pick, to sever the prefrontal cortex from the remainder of the brain. That would change their personality. Here's a picture of a young woman before and after a lobotomy. You can see that having a lobotomy would render a person into a childlike state. You can imagine that sticking objects blindly into the brain and swiping it back and forth could have serious complications, including hemorrhage and even death. The complication rate from this type of procedure was high. There was many surgeons that adapted this procedure in the United States in the late 1930s. Rosemary Kennedy had this surgery done in 1941 at George Washington University by Dr. Freeman and Dr. Watts. From the history that I've found, she actually had this procedure done through the skull because the transorbital procedure was not developed until 1946. The problem with the procedure that I describe is that you had to have anesthesiologist to put the patient to sleep and he wanted a quick, easy, and accessible way to perform surgery on these patients. It was also called the ice pick lobotomy and you could place this object through the eye into the prefrontal cortex to separate it from the brain in that fashion. It could be done quick, easy and in five to seven minutes. Here's a picture of the instruments that they used. You can see why they called it the ice pick lobotomy. Because it was done so quick and without anesthesia, patients could go home right away. They would just put a pair of sunglasses on to cover their black eyes. I've read some reports that they even did this type of surgery on a patient as young as four years old. Now let's get back to Rosemary. Her dad brought her in to see Dr. Freeman and Dr. Watts and she had that surgery performed the same day. This was without any consent from her mom or her mom even knowing that she would have this procedure. Now her procedure was botched because Rosemary was left wheelchair bound and institutionalized in a hospital until she was 86 years old. My imagination is that she had some type of hemorrhage from this procedure. As complications developed from this procedure, it was highly scrutinized by other neurosurgeons at the time. In the 1950s, we began to have the development of antipsychotic medications, including medications like Thorazine. Thankfully, now we understand a lot more about the brain than we did in the 